know some things. Any man in here doesn't know what this is? Any man? Well, I have a wife and three kids, so I know because I buy them a lot. So, right here. But guys, this is a sanitary napkin, and I'm going to be honest with you. When this guy, he pulled this out, right? When he pulled this out, I said to myself, well, my spirit didn't leave me to see it. It's me. <laughs> Ricky, I'm saying something wrong. You know, I don't know what I was hearing from, but it wasn't what I thought it would be. But here's what he did, guys. I'm about to show you this. What blew me away. I didn't even know how to tear it off. My wife and kids say, listen, you have to pull the entire, you know, back of it off together. But here's what I want you all to see. This is a 10-hour pad, okay? And I'm showing you this for a reason, and I'm showing you this for a purpose. Because, you know, this is supposed to have a serious system of absorbency in terms of what's on the shelf. So what he did was, he took the pad, guys, he laid it out in front of us all on the table, right? And then what he showed us was, for you guys that don't know, when a woman is having her feminine flow, my wife told me the word to say, call it feminine flow. When a woman is having her feminine flow uh, on a monthly basis, what happens is the average woman Guys, she gives off 15 to 50 milliliters. 15 to 50 milliliters on average. Some obviously more, some may be less. But 15 to 50 milliliters, according to gynecologists, is the average. And what he did was, he poured it in the pad. And I'm going to simulate these 15 to 50 milliliters going into the pad. And I'm sitting there saying, okay, this is really getting weird. Where are we going with this? That's what I was thinking. But then what he did was, he went into his actual bag, and he says, but this is what we're about to introduce to this side of the world. And he tore it, and he took it out, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm just curious, and taking notes, and I'm looking and seeing what's about to happen. And what I want you guys to see here is, Anybody that's in the front, can you guys validate that this pad is a lot smaller than the other one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want you to, I thought that was very key for you to notice this. He pulled out this particular pad right here. Right? And I'm unraveling this so you guys can see this. And then he put this pad side by side. And what he did was, he did the exact same thing. He put the 50 milliliters in this one as well. And if you're going to pour it, just make sure I don't pour it all over the tables. <clears throat> make sure it's all in there. But here's what I want to say as we're really preparing to wrap up on what you're about to see. Do you guys know that a lot of women have been dying of breast cancer, ovarian cancer? miscarriages, um, fibroids, vaginal infections, you name it. And do you guys know that most of that has been coming from the actual pads that they've been wearing? Because of how they're made and the design and the, and the chemicals that's involved in it? And I'm going to show you this in a second. When I saw that part, i got to be honest with you guys, I did not see a business opportunity when I first saw this. I saw my wife and my kids. And my heart went out to women because I say to myself, look what these ladies have been suffering through, and some people have died unnecessarily because of the chemicals that's been given into their bloodstream that's been causing a lot of the problems and challenges. But here's what I want you all to see. What the gentleman then did was, he took a napkin, right? And he took the napkin, and he put his hand to press down on the actual pad, and I don't have to tell you guys, what you guys expected happened, right? That it was going to be wet. Because we just poured 50 milliliters of water in there. Am I correct? That just makes sense, right? And then what he did was, he took the same napkin, and I don't want nobody to think I'm cheating or see that I'm cheating, and what he did was, he did it again, and he was pressing, pressing, and pressing, and pressing, and pushing on this pad, and it was nothing. It was dry. It was totally, completely dry. That's when I jumped out of my seat. And I said, hold on. we got a game change here. Stop. I see the vision. I see exactly where you guys are going now. And let me show you why it's important. Which one of these you guys would say have 
the least amount of water in it. The one in my right hand, yeah. would you agree? Yeah. I want to sit this right here because this is a very, very, very important as we're wrapping up. First thing I want to do is I want to show you the, the design of these particular pads, guys. I don't know if you ever paid attention. Men, I know we, we've never had to pay attention because we don't utilize them. But if you just actually feel the exterior of this particular pad, you can feel it too, brother. <laughs> it's made out of, no, serious. It's made out of some synthetic plastic, mm -hmm. yeah. which actually rubs against the woman, causing irritations, causing different things because of what it's designed and what it's made out of. If you guys look at the little blue dye here that's supposed to be the quote-unquote absorbency system, that's actual dye. So guess what happens with the dye when it gets wet? It bleeds through. And guess where it goes, ladies? But then, hold on. We're still not done. What's supposed to be the absorbency system here? This is wood fibers. This is old newspapers that was bleached. This was trash that they took, right? And when they bleach it, what's going on, Ricky? It's giving off a poisonous chemical called dioxin. Dioxin is ten times worse than cyanide. Mm. It's poisonous. So now, ladies, all of this is getting not only in your body, but in your bloodstream. And causing a lot of sickness and things that's happening with our women unnecessarily. But let me show you something, guys. This is important for you to see. I'm going to take what's supposed to be so absorbent, and you guys say the cup to the right has the least amount of water. Am I correct? Yes. I'm going to put this over here. Because I want to make sure we're all on the same page. You guys got to see this as, as well. The exterior of the design of these pads, it's plastic, okay? With no ventilation and no breathability. Here's what I want you to think about. Your body is 98.5 degrees, correct? Okay? You have blood. You have blood clots. You have moisture, right? You have, some situations, urine that is leaked out or whatever, you have all of this closed in, that's a perfect breathing ground for what? Bacteria. Bacteria. And it's truly, truly causing a problem. And fellas, you may say, well, this don't affect me. Yes, it do, because then it causes us to wait longer after waiting a week. <laughs> so it affects us too, definitely. So for that alone, for that alone, this is a, that's a bad chance. For that alone, days. Watch this, guys. I want you all to see this. We're still not done. But then, Ricky, when he began to do brother Ed, he tore this pad apart. Now what I want you to see is, I want you to feel the exterior of that. Soft, cotton, right? Okay, that's right here. But here's what you guys have to see. Here's the magic in all of this. This little green strip, this is almost like the microchip in a computer. This is an all-natural algae strip. Let me tell you what's going on with this strip, ladies. It has what's called negative ions in it. For you guys that don't know what negative ions are, I want you to do your own independent research. Don't take my word for it. When you research negative ions, if you've ever been to a waterfall, if you've ever been to the beach before a thunderstorm, that's where negative ions exist. It's known to naturally eat away at bacteria. Okay, but it's also designed to put the body in a relaxing state. Nobody's stressed out at the beach. You know? yeah. Nobody, you're relaxing, you're taking it easy because of the negative ions. But here's what I want you to understand. Negative ions, guys, in terms of being in this pad, has really been nothing short of miraculous. I have three daughters, okay, that's obviously in this period of their lives where this is a necessity for them. And my, my baby girl, she's 17 years old, she's the captain of the cheerleaders. I told her, you know, she, she told me, she says, Dad, I, I need to try one of these pads. So she was letting me know, obviously, it was that time. And here's what I said to her. I said, listen, sweetheart, I really need you to do me a favor. I said, be brutally honest with Daddy, because I'm about to put my name and my influence on this. You know we've been out of the industry for almost a year now. I says, if I'm going all in, I have to know this is real. I will never be able to experience this. I need it from you. So guess what, guys? My daughter used the pad. She came back the next day, and here's what she said to me. She said, first of all, Dad, let me say this to you. She says, I didn't have any smell. Simple one, the negative ions takes away the bacteria and the odor as well, ladies. No smell. She says, then I want you to know, Dad, my menstrual cramps wasn't there at all. 
He's helping with the menstrual cramps. Hold on. Then she says, Dad, I forgot I was wearing it. Because of the absorbency <laughs> factor, because the way this pad is designed, anytime any type of moisture hits it, guess what happens? It sucks it to the bottom of the pad and it locks into the absorbency system that's built inside of it. That's why there was nothing you could see on the top. Because anytime any wet moisture, anything touches it, it goes down below. But now we're getting testimonies from women that are saying, Damon, my cycle has been shortened. Where usually on my fourth, fifth day, I'm still flowing a little, I'm just getting little spots now. Just little spots. We have one business partner and our ladies, I got to share this. I know some of the ladies in here, I may gross you out what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. This young lady, very influential. Some of you all in here, you may even know who she is, heard her name. Uh, she's an icon in the industry. And myself and Mr. Coleman had the privilege of being able to get with her. She saw this demonstration. She says, I wanted to test the limits of what this thing could do. She says, I wore one of these pads for 24 straight hours. 24. She said, I know women are accustomed to changing four to six times a day. It's habitual. She said, but I wanted to see how far this could go. She said, after 24 hours, no smell, no pain, no anything. This is her testimony. And she is on fire because of now she's seeing how the product works. But as we're wrapping up, I need you guys to see this. This is important here. I'm going to actually unravel our absorbency system here because I put their stuff in the cup. I owe it to you to put ours in too, to be fair. Right? I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drop it into one that everybody in the room agreed had the most amount of water. Right? But I want you all to see this. If you look at the exterior of what our pads are designed out of, you can see holes through it. Everything is designed to be ventilated, right, and allow air to penetrate. But I want you to see this as well. Do you see the exterior of this pad? Do you see the little strips that almost look like a racetrack? If I was to put steam on one side of the pad, steam would come out the other side of the pad. Because it's designed for ventilation for air to get to that particular area. And I want you to understand something. Plastic doesn't tear like this, guys. This is biodegradable, what we have our hands on. But here's what I want to say. How long would you say that this was sitting inside the water here, inside? In, in, five, five, minutes. five minutes. Five? Some people say ten? Five? So we go with five. Let's go with the Lord's mouth. And is, is there still a lot of water in here, guys? I mean, everybody thought yeah. it was How long would you say this was sitting here? About a minute, and we can't get a drop of water out of it. You can't get a drop. No, listen, 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 guys. You cannot get a drop. But not only that, no, listen, no, 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 listen. I can continue to pour, I can continue to pour, and I can sit it right here in front of us, and all it's going to do is it's going to absorb. It's going to continue to absorb. But let me, let, me, let me tell you where we're really going as we're wrapping up. Because we're done. Let me share something with you. I just didn't get excited, guys. I did not just get excited about the opportunity. I got excited about the awareness campaign. <clears throat> Ms. Joyce, we're starting an awareness campaign called Now We Know. Mm. Our women know now. They're no longer ignorant to what's on these shelves and what's potentially killing them. Mm. Wow. They're no longer ignorant now to the diseases and things that's causing problems in their lives. Women dealing with miscarriage after miscarriage and they're wondering why because their bloodstream is being poisoned with dioxin. Now we know we're going to have 5K runs, guys. We're going to have basketball tournaments bringing awareness for our women. And some people are saying, well, Demond, you're a man. You'll never use this. But they got women in my life that I love. That's why I'm so passionate. And when I saw this, it became bigger than the money. But now on the other side, I've never saw a more residual product in the industry outside of oxygen and air. This is, you can't fight this one. Every month is coming. So guess what? You want what's best. I say this as we, as, as we close, guys, before I bring my partner up to close this out. I want to say this. The company is launching on March the 4th. That is going to be the start date where product is going to be shipped. Individuals are able to, to, to rock and roll. Commissions will run everything. But January 15th, this is a very important date, you are going to be able to enroll into this opportunity for free. 
There will be no choice. But people can get involved, get their positions, the whole nine yards. And from January 15th all the way up to March 4th, people are, are going to be able to structure, organize, do everything with their organizations. On the actual uh, 4th of March, that's when everything will go live. I want to say this to you all. Some women have been asking the question, what about tampons? Well, here's what I want to say to you all. Because I already know what you're thinking, ladies. We have been talking to several doctors. Doctors are not in favor of tampons. You know why? Because we're getting the word that really tampons are unnatural. Tampons are acting as a plug for something that's supposed to release and come out. That's what's causing a lot of tumors, fibroids. Because you got the blood sitting there backed up clotting inside your body. But hold on, guys. I want you to understand something. A lot of women have been dying from TSS. Toxic shock syndrome. We, we discovered from a doctor that they are putting ingredients and chemicals in tampons that make you bleed more. Intentionally. So you can continue to do what? Look at the games they play. Look, that's my point. And that's where we said that sister said it right. That's what I saw. Miss, hold on, man. This is my wife and kids' life. This is bigger than our, but this is not a game. And for men, if there's any woman in your life that you love, and we want to make something clear tonight. We want to be very crystal clear. We don't care if you get involved. Because guess what the company's vision is, Bobby? You ready for this? One million customers in our first 12 to 18 months. 